Hi, we are going to use uh, a function called sum product today to understand and try and find out the portfolio value. The portfolio would have a certain number of securities and uh, we are being given their current market prices. The task here is to actually find out the total portfolio value. What we see here is a portfolio which consists of stocks, Infosys, Reliance and ICICI Bank, their quantities in that portfolio and the current market prices of these stocks. We are supposed to find the portfolio value of this particular portfolio. Now one of the simplest ways of doing that would be just to find the particular you know, value of each of these stocks within the particular portfolio. Uh, multiply this with the price, multiply the quantity of Reliance with the price, multiply the quantity of ICICI Bank with that respective price. We could sum these three and get the total portfolio value. This being a simple process is easy to understand, however does become tedious if the number of stocks in the portfolio is significantly large. Excel however allows us the use of a function called sum product which adds up these two tasks of first multiplying and finding out the values of individual stocks and then adding them up. So what we are seeing here is it takes as input array 1, array 2, array 3 or whatever number of arrays are there. Arrays are nothing but sets of numbers, sets of data. In this case the first array would be the quantity of stocks that we have. We put a comma. The second array would be the current market prices of those specific stocks. We close the bracket. We don't have any third data point here. What this does is if you see in this formula it would first take the product of D7 with E7, D8 with E8 D9 with E9 and then sum all that. We find that the value of the portfolio found as per sum product is the same as value found using the sum function and just to reiterate quickly the syntax of sum product would take the first set of data which is the quantity of the number of stocks, the second set of data which is the current market price of those stocks, first take a product of corresponding cells which is the quantity of a stock and its market price, quantity of the second stock with its market price, third stock with its market price and then sum it up. For more such videos keep watching this space. To learn many more Excel tips and functionalities for financial services join our program on Excel for financial services. For more details mail us, visit our website or join us on Facebook.